I know that everything in figure skating is so expensive, but it really is the nice details that count, and these are really cute. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Hello skater, thank you very much for joining my channel. My name is Paul Diaz and I am a figure skating enthusiast and adult figure skater and I share all things figure skating here in my channel. I normally do it in Spanish but whenever I find something that I think there are no tutorials for in English, I might do a couple of videos in English. So if you would like me to do more videos in English, please subscribe and leave a comment. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a, an amazing gift for your skating friends that is going to be cheap, simple and easy to do at home. You do not need a sewing machine, you do not need any special equipment, all you need is your hands, a couple of needles, thread and the, the things I'm going to explain to you over the next part. Okay, let's go. To our soakers, we'll need a basic sewing kit alongside with a meter of flannel. We'll need the, the fabric you want to cover your soakers with. It can be shiny, it can be normal, it can have cartoons on it, really anything you want. We'll need around two meters of elastic, um, around one centimeter to half centimeter wide. And we'll finally use this filling that we would normally use for cushions or any kind of stuffed animals, that kind of thing. So first, we're going to measure our blades. I know that you have the, the length in inches, but remember that with the rocker, the whole thing might be a different size on length. So do measure your plates because it can be a bit different. Once you've measured your blade, you're going to use those measures to cut on the decorative fabric. Now you're going to have to use about, about an extra inch on each side. And on top, you're going to be almost exact. I did it the opposite way, I started with the flannel, but later I noticed that the one fabric that has to be up to measure with the blade has to be the decorative part and the flannel has to be a little bit higher than the decorative part. So I fixed that later when I did another soaker, so I'm just saying so you don't make this mistake, the first one you're going to cut and most according to measure is going to be the decorative fabric. Everything in this tutorial obviously is going to have to be done twice. Um, here's me cutting the decorative part according to the measures on the flannel and this is how they ended up being but actually they should be a little bit more like this with flannel sticking out on the top so you have enough fabric to, to cover the elastic. So you're going to fold both fabrics by half and you're going to sew by that little line. You can do this with your hands like I'm doing or you can do this with sewing machine, it's much much faster. But uh, I did it all by hand and it did not take me that long. So I guess you can do it by hand and it's going to be just fine, it's working for me. But if you can do it with a sewing machine, you're going to take like five minutes and it took me like half an hour per soaker to finish them. Then you need to turn around the fabric and make sure that the flannel is facing you and you're going to sew everything by the sides. I'm going to sew it twice, uh, especially where the fabric is a little bit sticking out so I have more room to do that. I'm going to sew it like this and then I'm going to fold the fabric and sew it once more because this is the most delicate part on your soaker because the topic is going to be here a lot so this means that they can really be destroyed on this part of the soaker so it's better to do a, 
a double run through of the whole thing. If you can do it with a sewing machine, that's even better. But here's how I did it. I did it first by the flannel and then by the decorative part. On the other side, I'm just um, going to turn around the fabric so I have a little bit more room to do that. Once you're done, you're going to have like a little envelope like this. The flannel has to be sticking out so you have enough of it to cover the elastic. And we're going to turn it around and it looks like a little bag or a little cushion or something. So you can use that tape too. <laughs> now, I'm going to cut the flannel so it isn't that much or it's kind of the same amount on each side. Obviously, it's better to cut it all straight but if it's not, it doesn't matter because we're going to fold it twice. So you're gonna take your elastic and you're going to put it inside that double folding and you're going to start sewing like this, one and two. And then you're going to start sewing, making sure you have all the fabrics together. Like it's the flannel from the inside, the decorative part and the folding on the outside flannel. All of that, making sure that you never, ever step into the elastic. That's very, very important. And we're going to go almost all the way through, except for a little bit, because that's where we're going to put all of the filling in. So, you're going to leave it like that for a little bit. And here's um, where your personal tastes come into play. Um, you can put as much filling as you want. I like them to be really fluffy, but you can leave them a little bit not as fluffy. It depends on how you like your soakers. I think this way they're a lot more protected. Um, the skates are a lot more protected from being wet or even any possible Thing that can happen when you're transporting them so I prefer them this way but you can leave them a little bit more aloof or a little bit more chunky it depends on your personal taste and we're going to do this on the other side too so first you're going to finish putting as much feeling as you want and then we're going to sew the, the last part of this side of the soaker now, you have to be really careful to still being able to grab all the fabrics while you're sewing and not the elastic and at the same time try to go as, how to say it, straight as you can because here's where it can go all crooked so you have to be a little careful. Also be careful not to lose the elastic because this might end up on you having to just undo everything and go back in there. So just be careful. And we're going to repeat everything on the other side. Once you have done everything on the other side, you're going to have two, four little elastics sticking out. So here's your, what you can do. You can just um, do a little knot put in your, your plates in there and do a little knot and you'll be done. Or you can cover them with the fabric with a little bit of um, a flannel that it's just left there outside. It's up to taste. Maybe if you're going to give them as a gift, it's better to leave them just like that so the people can adjust them according to their plates. But it's all up to you. It's up to personal tastes, but there you, there you have it. I really hope you found this useful and that you give your friends a really, really nice surprise with this super fluffy, fluffy soakers. Uh, also, keep in mind that you can make them of whatever material you like. like uh, I really like shiny, shiny stuff, but you can use any other sort of fabric that you find cute and that you have enough of. 
So really, it's up to you. I, I really like them to, to be flashy and, and sparkly and whatnot. And I know most skaters do, but maybe you would like some other stuff. So if you liked this tutorial and you would like me to do more videos about DIY or other stuff related to figure skating, please leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel so I can know and I can prepare more videos in English because I know I don't have many but I try to do one every once in a while whenever I don't find certain information on the internet in English and I have it in Spanish or there's no video for it normally I'll do something in English it's not it's not really a thing in this channel yet but it might be and if you want it to be please subscribe and leave a comment below well, that, that's all we got for today. If you're going to make soakers, please let me know on what color you'll be making them, if you'll be making them for a friend or for yourself. I think that would be really neat. You can follow Have a Nice Day's social media uh, so you can share your photos of the soakers that you made. And yeah, and if you gave them to a friend, maybe for a secret Santa. I know that everything in figure skating is so expensive but really it's the nice details that count and these are really cute so i hope to see you soon and i wish that you have very happy flights see you in the next one